kinds of sentences. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define a declarative or assertive sentence Define an interrogative sentence Define an imperative sentence Define an exclamatory sentence Identify the negative forms of declarative interrogative and imperative sentences. Hi Fleck! Mm, what are you doing? I'm making a poster for my lost bicycle. I was going to go to Cliff Road Park to meet Roy. But when I went into the backyard to get my bicycle, it wasn't there. I looked for it everywhere, but I still can't find it. Don't worry, Fleck. I'll help you look for it. Really, Zizi? Thank you so much. Hmm. <laughs> I lost a green bicycle near the Cliff Road Park. If you find it, bring it to... House number 10, Cliff Road. Hmm. Fleck has used many sentences in his poster. But he can use different kinds of sentences to make his writing better. Before we learn about the different kinds of sentences, let us define sentences. We can define a sentence as a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate and makes complete sense by itself. It doesn't need another word or group of words to do so. Let's look at an example. Fleck has a green bicycle. This group of words is called a sentence. It is a group of words that makes complete sense. Fleck is the subject in this sentence. The subject is what is being spoken about in a sentence. Has a green bicycle is the predicate. The predicate tells us something about the subject. All sentences are not the same. They may be of different kinds. Let's learn about the four different kinds of sentences. A sentence may tell us something or state a fact. A sentence or a statement which says or states something is called a declarative sentence or an assertive sentence. Fleck is making a poster. This sentence simply states or declares that Fleck is making a poster. In this sentence, Fleck is the subject and is making a poster is the predicate. Is making is the verb. In a declarative sentence, the subject usually comes before the verb. In the example used here, the subject Fleck is used before the verb is making. A declarative sentence always starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. The sentence starts with a capital letter F and ends with a full stop. Most of the sentences we speak read 
or right in our everyday life are declarative sentences. A sentence can also ask a question. A sentence which asks a question is called an interrogative sentence. For example, the sentence Have you seen Flex Bicycle? is a question or an interrogative sentence. In this sentence, you is the subject and have seen Flex Bicycle is the predicate. In such a sentence, the predicate or part of the predicate always comes before the subject. In the example, a part of the predicate that is have comes before the subject in this sentence. An interrogative sentence usually begins with an asking word with its first letter in capital and always ends with a question mark. This sentence begins with the asking word have starting with the capital letter H and ends with a question mark. A sentence which gives an order or makes a request or an entreaty which is an urgent request is known as an imperative sentence. For example, be careful is an order. Kindly return the bicycle is a request. Please be quiet is an entreaty. Generally, the subject is not mentioned in an imperative sentence. In these examples, the subject you is understood. An imperative sentence usually begins with a capital letter and ends with an exclamation mark or a full stop. All these examples start with a capital letter and end with either an exclamation mark or a full stop. A sentence can also show strong feelings. A complete sentence that expresses a sudden or strong emotion or feeling is known as an exclamatory sentence or an exclamation. Such a sentence can show feelings of happiness, sadness, anger, surprise, fear or excitement. Take a look at the following example. What a colorful poster that is. This sentence is an exclamatory sentence as it shows a feeling of excitement. Do remember that an exclamatory sentence cannot be a single word. For example, stop is not an exclamatory sentence. It is an interjection. An interjection is a single word or an incomplete sentence used to express a strong emotion. In an exclamatory sentence, a part of the predicate comes before the subject. It usually begins with words like what and how in capital and ends with an exclamation mark. In the previous example, a part of the predicate comes before the subject poster. It also begins with the word what with a capital W and ends with an exclamation mark. We have learned 
about the four different kinds of sentences but only three of these can have negative forms that is the declarative interrogative and imperative sentences the declarative sentence fleck is making a poster can have a negative form fleck is not making a poster the interrogative sentence have you seen fleck's bicycle can be written in the negative as haven't you seen fleck's bicycle similarly the negative form of the imperative sentence please be quiet is please don't be quiet yeah take a look at it fleck your sentences are much more meaningful now have you seen this bicycle this bicycle has been lost it is bright green in color if found please return it to house number 10 cliff road you're right it sounds so much better now thank you come on let's hurry up and go to the park we can put up this poster before it gets dark hello oh hi ben hmm oh thanks ben who was that that was ben he said he's coming over to return my bicycle i had completely forgotten that i had lent it to him a week ago <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm so glad I found my bicycle. Before I go to the park with Zizi and Ben, let's just go through all the points we have learned in the lesson kinds of sentences. A sentence is a group of words that contains a subject and a predicate and makes complete sense by itself it doesn't need another word or group of words to make sense the subject refers to what is spoken about in a sentence the predicate tells us more about the subject a sentence which says or states something is called a declarative sentence or an assertive sentence it is a statement example zizi liked the poster in a declarative sentence the subject usually comes before the verb a declarative sentence always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop A sentence which asks a question is called an interrogative sentence. Example: Did you go to the park? In an interrogative sentence, the predicate or a part of the predicate always comes before the subject. An interrogative sentence usually begins with an asking word in capital and always ends with a question mark a sentence which gives an order or makes a request or an entreaty is known as an imperative sentence example go home quickly the subject you is not mentioned in an imperative sentence An imperative sentence usually starts with a capital letter and ends with an exclamation mark or a full stop. A complete sentence 
that expresses a sudden or strong emotion or feeling is known as an exclamatory sentence. Such a sentence shows feelings of happiness, sadness, anger, surprise, fear or excitement. Example, what a lovely day it is. An exclamatory sentence cannot be a single word. In an exclamatory sentence, a part of the predicate comes before the subject. An exclamatory sentence usually begins with words like what and how in capital and ends with an exclamation mark. The declarative, interrogative and imperative sentences can have negative forms.